Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to make a block that is called an hourglass nine patch. And this is our last block in our Harry Potter quilt. So for that, you're going to make two, you're going to need two of the blue, whatever color you choose, and two of the, whatever that is. I can never remember that. Anyways, two of each, five and a half by five and a half. And we're going to turn those into half square triangles, which I've already done for two of them. But I'm going to show you, even though we've done it a lot in this, on this channel, in this series, however. Uh, so, we're just going to cut that in half, corner to corner. I'm so sorry. To do that, I took this uh, ruler and I laid this uh, quarter inch line corner to corner. And I drew a line and then I flipped it around and I drew another line. And then I just sewed right down the lines I drew. Now, we're going to iron this open. I do have other videos with that on it. If you're not sure of it, please go check them out. It's no, uh, no thing I haven't went over before on here. All right, so we're just going to iron them open, and now we're going to trim them down to five inch squares. This one got a little wonky. We may have trouble with it. All right, so we're going to line this up on the diagonal as close to this edge and this edge as possible. My hair's down. I can see it on that screen. I apologize if it bothers you. But, well, it's just down. That's what we're doing today. All right, so now we're going to turn it around and line up the diagonal again, and then the five inch point this time, and our lines, our five inch lines should line right up, which they did. And then this one might be wonky. I might have to redo it, but we'll see. Line it up on the diagonal. Let's do this side first because this is where it got wonky. It'll be all right, though. Let's spin it around, do the same thing. Line up the fives. The diagonal, and there is not much to cut off. There we go. This is going to go into my pillow stuffing. All right, so now those were both. I needed two of each of those, five and a half by five and a half. Next, you needed one of each color that is six by six. And we're going to turn this. You're only going to need one, but the way I do it, I'm going to end up with two. So this is going to be a half square, or, no it's not, this is going to be an hourglass. These are half square triangles, it's going to be an hourglass. So we're not going to cut these yet, we're just going to take this, flip it over, so that when you open it, it still looks like a half square triangle. So we're going to line up our seam. If it bothers you, you could trim it down to five and a half, but it doesn't bother me, I don't want to. You're going to pin it on the seams, and then you are going to do the same thing again. We're going to draw a line down the middle, both ways. Well, I'm just going to do it because we're going to trim it anyway. Where is my... Let's try this green one. Yep, I can see it, and that's all that needs to happen. You can't see it, but I promise you it's the one there. Corner to corner. This is how you do the half square triangle, too. That I didn't show on this one. Alright, now I'm just going to take you over and we're going to sew this up. Right over here at the sewing machine. Lift it up and just fold that under. It does it a lot. Then I'm just actually going to flip it around and do the other side. Well, maybe not. There we go. See, it tears at it a little, which is why I like doing them 
without cutting all the little pieces off. It's okay, we're going to trim that part off so it doesn't really matter. See, if I had the starter on there, I could have used it to pull through, but I didn't, and oh well. So now we're just going to cut it open like this. All right, so now we we don't need one. I'm going to lay it to the side. We're just going to use this one. Let's iron it open. There we are. Now we're going to trim it. And to trim this one, you're going to line up, we want it to be five inches. So you're going to line up your two and a half right there on the middle dot. And you're going to line up this diagonal should go all the way down pretty even with it it should be spot on if you've done it correctly we're gonna cut that part off put it in our scrap bucket spin this around and now you're still gonna line up the two and a half point and this diagonal and that should leave these falling right into place on your five inch points or lines two and a half and then your five inch lines. And there you go. Now all our pieces are ready to go. We are going to lay it out now. This is going to go, we'll make this up and down. We'll make those go that way. These four triangles are going to go like this. Just like that. And then I fussy cut four of these again. And we're just going to lay them out. I just chose random pieces, really. Those two look pretty much the same, but I don't care. Whatever. So there they are. Now we just have to sew it together. Just like always. These two, these two, these two, these two, these two, these two. These two. Singing it there, aren't I? Let's put that green pen back. Leave the black one here because I use it. So I'm just going to fold these over. No seams to match up. I'm just going to sew them down just like always and then just reach over and get the other ones. So let's head one over. Maybe. There we go. Just line them up. If you're new and, what, and I was in the beginning of my channel here, I did pin even these tiny little pe blocks pinned. There's no shame in pinning. I am a pinner. I pin anything that I think I might need to. These, I've gotten pretty good at these. I've done these a lot. If you've watched my channel, you'll know. This is basically what I did. And the last one for this part. Oh, sometimes, I don't know, I changed out my sewing machine and this one just doesn't, I don't know if it's the foot or just the machine, but it just doesn't want to do what I need it to do when I need it to do it. So we're going to open this up, bring this one over, it goes just like that, we're going to fold it over. Plus, when I first started out, and I don't know if this is for everybody or whatever, but I got pieces mixed up a lot. I don't know if everybody does that or it was just me, but I got tired of it. All right. Next piece was our hourglass piece in the middle. We're going to put this one back over here. I do line it up off screen. Sorry about that. And last one goes like this. You want to make sure you have it correct. I have sewn many pieces incorrect. Really not a big deal, just takes you a little more time. Right, put our ender on there. Cut it off. Come back over with me. We're going to cut it apart. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. 
today I did. Try them all. Try all the techniques. See what works best for you. You're not going to know which one you like best if you don't try them all, or at least the ones you think you might like. There's no judgment here, and if you have a question, please ask. I, again, do not judge. We have all been new at something at one point. Nobody started out perfect at anything. So I am just ironing these to the fussy cut ones because it is a solid piece and, well, it'll be less bulk. If I can figure out what I'm doing on this one. Pretty excited. This is the last block. And if you watched the last video, you now know I decided to put sashing in it instead of adding more blocks. He wants it bigger like his brother's. But instead of doing more blocks, I'm just going to... So that's what the block looks like. There's their hourglass, and it's um, a nine patch, so I guess that's where they got the name. So we're going to fold this down and pin it, and then fold the other one up and pin it. But anyways, as I was saying, so the back is going to be gray, since he decided it wasn't going to be quilt as you go. So I think I'm going to do the sashing in black, or yeah black and then I'm going to do the little squares in between the blocks in the same gray that will be on the back to tie that gray in. They're just solid colors so it won't be hard. We're going to pin this one. I am pretty excited to be almost done with these. They've waited a while. I literally finished the other one like four days ago. I did make him matching pillows which I will do for this one and matching pillow cases for his, well, matching throw pillows and then matching pillow cases. My only problem is with the pillow cases on this one, I would really like to do four in one of each of these colors, but the only thing I have only ever found these in fat quarters, and you need a yard of fabric to do the pillow case that I do, so it's just not plausible for me. But if y'all ever see that, please let me know where, and I will just snag some right up. cases will probably be uh there's only a few that I could get in full yards so I guess I don't know if I'm gonna do matching ones or if he'll want two different ones I really don't know but he only has a few to choose from which saddens me a little bit but it's okay stitch on the Harry Potter blocks. Are you all as excited as me? Because I'm pretty excited. Alright. So I do have a busy work week this week, but I do intend on doing the what's it called? Applique on that quilt this week is a goal. If not this week, it will be next. I want to make a table runner. I've tried tablecloths, but y'all, my kids are messy as all get out. And I need something just in the middle. Because they're crazy messy. It's, it's terrible. I don't even know. Let's get those off. There it is. It's called um, hourglass nine patch. It's the final quilt block. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you make it and love it. And if you do make these, I would love to see pictures. Please post them on in the Facebook group. I would love to see all of them. Anything you, anything you do, actually, please post it. So there it is. Um, yep. I hope you loved it or love it. I hope you make it and love it. And I will see you all next time. Have a great day.